do you constantly find yourself being taken advantage of? Either you're repeatedly talked down to and treated as insignificant. People can be cruel and judgmental at times, and you may feel as if they have no regard for you. It's not always pleasant to be around people who do not appreciate you. So if given the opportunity, it could be best to just walk away and stay clear of such individuals. However, if you find yourself being treated in this manner on a regular basis, you should take a few moments to reflect on how you behave in various contexts of your life and then adopt a few behaviors to help you gain respect and change your situation. To comprehend your situation, you need to understand that many people have little respect for personal boundaries, and if you let them, they will suck you dry and take everything from you without a care in the world. That's why you must decide how much you intend to give rather than simply leaving the door open for others to take. Though it sounds easy and doable, most people struggle with it because they have poorly defined boundaries and believe they're being nice by allowing others to walk all over them. Or because they're terrified of conflict, they don't stand up for themselves. Additionally, some people believe that everyone else has the same kind of heart as them. So they give because they want that person to return the favor, only to have their hearts broken when they discover the taker doesn't care nearly as much. If you're such a person and you're looking for the solution to your dilemma, this is the video for you. In this video, we shall look at some of the most common reasons why people take advantage of you, as well as potential solutions for each cause. Number eight, you don't have well-defined boundaries. Boundaries help you determine what is acceptable and unacceptable. At times, boundaries can be definite, but other times, they're a middle ground for compromise, especially if one intends to be generous. Nevertheless, you have to make sure that other people aren't taking so much that you're completely exhausted. When was the last time you said no to something that was completely inconvenient for you? For example, suppose you're extremely tired from work and are looking forward to your upcoming day off, but your friend says they need help planning a party. Can you refuse? What would your reaction be if you said no? Would you feel tremendous guilt? Or would you simply say yes because you don't want to cause an argument? If your answer to the last two questions is yes, then you need to create stronger boundaries. That doesn't mean your boundaries have to be rigid or completely definite. What's important is that the decisions that you're making aren't coming from a sense of guilt. Of course, if you're not used to setting and establishing boundaries, it will be hard at first. In fact, you might even lose a few friends because you're no longer serving your purpose in their lives. On the bright side, you would have set limitations on how you expect to be treated. And this is a form of self-care. Number seven, you don't stand up for yourself. The other reason why people find it easy to use you is that you don't stand up for yourself. People who can't say no are easy to exploit. If you're the kind of person who fears disputes and makes decisions based on that, you need to come to terms with the fact that conflict is unavoidable. Sometimes when a manipulator notices that you're trying so hard to be good or that you're easy to manipulate, they will definitely find a way of using you to fulfill their selfish desires. The best way to deal with such people is to say no and be comfortable with your response. This takes us back to our previous point, understanding how to set and maintain boundaries and get comfortable with the consequences of your decisions. Number six, you don't feel good enough. A number of people struggle with self-confidence. As a result, they may allow others to exploit them because they don't believe they're worthy of respect. Such people don't speak up for themselves because they believe they deserve the ill treatment or punishment coming their way. Most often, this pitiable sense of worth originates from the cruel words and actions of other people. In most cases, survivors of domestic violence and emotionally abusive relationships are more likely to fall into these patterns. It's because their partner may have spent several years damaging their self-esteem and self-worth, making them easier to manipulate and less likely to leave. If you're caught up in such a situation, the first step is to seek therapy. Undoing this sort of damage is a long-term task that requires the help of a professional. While seeking help, you'll need to confront the negative beliefs about yourself and then learn how to make different decisions, even when your mind tells you that you're not good enough. Nobody deserves to be treated unfairly or disrespected. Number five, you feel compelled to earn someone's friendship, love, or respect. You're an easy target for manipulators if you believe that relationships and friendships are purely transactional. It's because people with such a mindset are often conditioned to associate love and affection with a particular action. Hence the constant need to earn someone's friendship, love, or respect, even if it means undermining their own priorities. For example, such a person may believe that they're not worthy of being loved, 
so they must ensure that they are deserving of the affection they receive. A sense of guilt like this basically opens the person up to anyone who wants to exploit their trauma. If you're the kind of person who heavily relies on the notion, if you scratch my back, I scratch yours, then you need to seek the help of a therapist to assist you in addressing the trauma that shaped that mentality. You need to learn how to set healthy boundaries and how to maintain healthy relationships. Additionally, you'll need to understand that relationships and friendships are not situational, and that you don't give with the intention of receiving affection in return. In a healthy relationship, both partners give because they want to. They give because they want to elevate others instead of dragging them down. So if you're not receiving the same energy from your partner or friend, then consider that a one-sided relationship. If you're enjoying this video and it resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to this channel to get more related content. Thank you. On to the next one. Number four, you look for other people's approval. If you have a habit of constantly seeking approval from others, then people will exploit that trait. People pleasing is a very dangerous trait to have as it gives manipulators an open window to use emotional blackmail on you. When you seek approval from others, you always try to please them, strive to be liked, and want them to agree with what you say or do. In most cases, people who are skilled at exploiting others can quickly identify a person with this weakness and take advantage because they know it's easy to emotionally blackmail them into doing whatever they ask. Furthermore, they know that they don't need to do much because of a frown or a slight expression of displeasure is enough to change what they think or how they act so that others will approve of them. If you're the type of person who constantly seeks approval, you need to realize your worth and get rid of the biased assumptions you have about yourself based on what your peers, coworkers, boss, or others say, or what you believe they are saying. None of this is important, and it's possible that you've been creating these assumptions in your head for years. So don't overthink it and put the issues of the past behind you. Number three, you always look for the good in others. Another reason people take advantage of you is that you always look for the good in others, even when they are at fault. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with looking for the best in others. However, it becomes unhealthy when you condition yourself to focus entirely on the positive, to the extent of ignoring all the visible red flags. Even if you believe that everyone is good at heart, it's important to acknowledge that some people live solely to take advantage of others, cause trouble, and enrich themselves at the expense of others. People who look for the good in others, blinding themselves to evil's true nature, are ideal patsies to exploit. They're not critical, they don't cause problems, they don't say no or stand up for themselves. If you're one of those people, you need to draw the line between acceptable and unacceptable behavior. Do not just dwell on the fact that everyone is good. Instead, try to see people for who they truly are by observing their actions. If they're doing bad things to other people, they'll do bad things to you. If they're dishonest to other people, they'll definitely be dishonest to you. If they can cheat on their partner with you, they're capable of doing it to you as well. Are people capable of changing? Absolutely. Most people, however, don't because change is difficult and requires a great deal of self-awareness and reflection. If they were motivated to change, they could. They, however, don't. So don't let your optimism blind you. Number two, you don't allow yourself to express how you feel. The other reason people see you as an easy target to exploit it is that you don't openly express your emotions. When you keep to yourself and don't express your feelings about specific situations, people will believe they're not burdening you with their responsibilities and that it doesn't bother you that they only call when they need something. It's important that you learn how to express yourself properly. If you feel manipulated or used, say it. Otherwise, how will one know that you're overwhelmed? Others may be oblivious to your feelings and expressing them may change things. Number one, you victimize yourself. Manipulation and emotional blackmail are common in our personal relationships. There are, however, toxic people who take this to the extreme. So it's important to set boundaries, say no, and pay attention to our own needs. Then again, if you believe that you're always being taken advantage of by others, it's because you're doing nothing to stop it. Self-victimization conditions you to think that you cannot change your situation or do anything about it. As a result, you tolerate the dire circumstances because you believe that's how life is and you have to adapt. Ultimately, this only deepens your discomfort. So instead of attaching yourself to it, the best thing you can do is take charge of your life. If you're being exploited and you are aware of it, you're enabling the situation. It's not a matter of feeling bad about yourself. Consider what you can do to change this. Hopefully, some of the suggestions listed in this video can help you out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember to like and share this video with those around you. 
Also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. With that said, have a great day, and see you in the next one.